guys, welcome back to the canyon. I am here with John Hogg, the vocalist of Magpie Salute. We're gonna ask him a few quick questions before he hits the stage. So, first question, where did the name Magpie Salute come from? Um, the, you know, Rich Robinson, who kind of put this all together, was trying to get together with his old friends he's played with over the years. So, when he got together with Mark and <clears throat> Eddie originally was going to be doing this thing, it's like it was going to be a one-off gig, and um, they all flew over, uh, Sven came over as well, and he realised that you know, a lot of the people in the band were, had a shared history that was to do the Black Rose. So there, there were kind of superstitions in the UK uh -huh. about magpies and crows, and also in the uh, cultures. So it just seemed like an appropriate yeah, you know, it is appropriate. transition Very appropriate. to bring in the Oh, cool. I like that. That's really yeah. cool. All right. How old were you when you started performing? And do you remember where it was or what it was for? The first time I performed was in the playground with some friends of mine. We were just <laughs> singing a Beatles song. I guess John Lennon had just died. We were about nine. And... Uh, we were singing this song in the middle of the playground and all the girls came round and then all the boys came round and they thought, oh, yeah, we should do this. We should do this all the time. We should do this all the time. Yeah. School's really boring. Actually, school wasn't boring. School was, I enjoyed school. I enjoyed school too. Yeah, I school liked school. Yeah. Thing. So you, did you perform in like school talent shows ever? Really? Not really. No. Especially, I used to come in with my guitar to school mm -hmm. and just, you know, I was trying to connect with other people who yeah. wanted to do music, basically, yeah. because it seemed like something that was good for me, but it wasn't like this, like everybody else wasn't doing it. Mm -hmm. It was quite, you know, you're walking around with a guitar, you're not <laughs> like everybody else isn't doing it. Yeah, exactly. So, Sets you apart, for sure. Yeah. All right, what is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you on stage? I don't know that I could really say the most embarrassing thing, <laughs> but it's wrong. Okay. <laughs> but um, I've had, I once did a gig with my old friends at this place called the William Morris Club mm -hmm. in Wimbledon, which is near where I live, and uh, I had these kind of cowboy boot things on, and there was so much beer on the stage that I <laughs> slipped over it in the middle of a bass. Oh like, no! <laughs> did you keep going? Did yeah. you keep going? Yeah, I was best I could. Yeah. I mean, what else are you going to do? You got shows got to go. There's no one else you can blame. You've <laughs> only got yourself to blame. Yes, that that's true. Yeah, it was a hard lesson. <laughs> that's a good story. All right, who is your biggest inspiration as an artist? Although I was affected by lots of sort of like 70s music when I grew up, because when I was a little kid in the 70s, my mum my mom was from Africa. My dad was from Sweden. I grew up in London. So we got our first black and white TV in the early 70s. And it was like Mark Bowler and all this stuff on the TV. But the first things I got moved by that I went out and got because I was old enough was the Beatles, Bob Dylan and Jimi Hendrix. I just somehow got introduced to all three of those things. At, at the same, same time. time. And it was like, okay, okay yeah, this, this is, is going to work. Yeah. <laughs> so those are good, that. definitely good people to be influenced by. Do you have an artist, like their songs or one of your favorites to sing? I once sang a Paul McCartney song, and that was really felt very important. Paul McCartney? Yeah, I mean, well, his song, the singing, song and the, the environment. fact that she liked that song. Yes. Yeah, her mum loved this Let It Be, basically. So, and all of their friends remember because they were from they were artists and they were from that sort of time. So, they um, she loved that song, and so my friend Nishka asked, Could, "Would you sing that song?" And she would surely be saying it. I don't know whether I should be saying it. I don't know what you should be saying. Anymore, yeah. But it's the truth. Yeah. And it was a beautiful thing, and it was very beautiful to be asked, and it was a lot of pressure. It was a, the most difficult thing you have ever done. Really. Because, because you know that it really matters. Yeah. It really, you know, it's not, not that this all doesn't matter, it's all matters, but, but, yeah. but in that situation, it's like, it's, it's quite That's really like, cool. Yeah. I like that. Well, check them out. Yeah. Check out can, Magpie Salute. Yeah, <laughs> look at the, uh, you know, look at the Magpie Salute. Yes. 
All right. Magpiesalute.com, wow. the Magpie Salute, the Instagram. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you for yeah. speaking with me. That's yeah. all I got for you. Yeah, and we're, right. yeah, we're, we're looking speak. forward to seeing you yeah, up there. It's, I'm looking forward to playing tonight. Thank you for that. Of course. Stopping by for a chat. All right. Check in back next week. Bye, you guys.